Oh, Los Angeles, you magnificent beast of a blanket that wraps itself around the cold hollows of my feet. While the rest of my body remains topless, it's my own private psychedelic bonfire. My imagination is drenched in the white heat of dancing embers, daring me to come up with it once again. To tell the tale of a man left alone in the womb of Mother Earth. Perhaps the cosmos and the ancient gods having a laugh. A cosmic ruse at the expense of one man unbeknownst to him that he is the court jester of the galaxy. I've maniacal, maniacally focused, concentrated, like a thousand oranges squeezed of their juice into a thimble. I mean, to work with someone like John Goliath, that's what it takes. Run! He doesn't stop and he doesn't say no. And I love that, I must say. You're alone! Be alone! Come to me. Be alone! Baron didn't give me much to go on other than this guy, this last bloke. But he is the last person on the planet. Or he thinks he is. I guess that's just his journey throughout the film. But yeah, no script. I'm just digging deep to find the emotions that one would feel if this actually did happen. Baron did say to me that the teacup is everything to him. His family, his home, his truth that this is not a dream because without it, he's dead in the water. I guess you figure out how to be a man, unless it's too late. I miss what it felt like to wear a stiff suit on a Sunday morning. I never really knew how to tie a tie. I'll tell you this, for my fist in the fight, I ain't going back to that Midwest thing. That Wednesday night spaghetti dinner is probably not even there anyway. before I was invited to sit at his table. He's a complicated gent, but he has a heart of gold and a steadfast devotion to the film we're making. 
The truth is, I can't do it without him. Otherwise, I'm the last bloke on this sodden fake planet. <laughs> or maybe it's that Rocky, the Italian from Philly that's Stallone. Oh, but that's a whole other film, isn't it?